Greetings from the Erie Coast. This is Matt Chad. <laughs> and Charity. I'm at home. Yeah, they let us go home early today. I mean, great. Yeah, you know. Uh, you know, in, uh, in preparation for Thanksgiving. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Which is tomorrow. So this is Thanksgiving Eve, correct? Uh, it's currently 57. It feels like 60 out there. It feels like 65, 68, but... Uh, Bright, sunny, sunny day. It's a great day. Yeah, but that's not why I'm here, is it? No, I'm here to tell you about those who did not have a good day. That's right, you guessed it. Those Americans that were trapped in Afghanistan left their right trader join his militia slash a combat regime. <sighs> At least we forget that 13 servicemen and women died at Abbey Gate in Kabul, Afghanistan, in August of last year. Every day, never forget, never forget whose fault this is. But there was hope. There is hope. These folks are still in country. That's uh, Task Force Argo, Task Force Pineapple, Project X, Project Dynamo, Christian Coalition. Just to name a few. And of course, we can't forget the uh, the 13 servicemen who then died, and the 200 plus people that died, uh, and the 300 plus people that lost arms and legs and limbs. Things that don't grow back. Uh, a lot of them were service members as well. So, meanwhile, oh. See, we, we don't hear a lot about what's going on in Brazil, right? We, do, we don't. We don't. Uh, but you guys remember, you know, and of course, if you've been following the channel and you go to trial by axe, we just had uh, El Presidente Selecto uh, Lula. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's some shit going on in Brazil. Millions of people have taken to the streets. Millions. I said millions. That's a lot of fucking zeros. Yes. Um, and they're not stopping. The The truckers have literally blocked off 150 key intersections and roads all over Brazil. And, uh, well, the, 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 the police are overwhelmed. <laughs> the, that's the only, that's the only uh, uh, thing that the regime has because the military... And get this, the military is with Bossario. Bossario. I forget how to say his name, but, you know, whatever. Um, Bolsonaro, Bolsonaro, that's his name. Bolsonaro, right? Uh, anyway, uh, he's the one that lost, but uh, he's the one that should be in power, right? Uh, we all know how that went down with the selection. Um, and it was all about the Supreme Court. Now, Lula was in prison and was taken out of prison. He, like, just absolved of all charges. Really, you know, to overturned his sentence. The Supreme Court tried to put, has put him in power because the Supreme Court uh, is is friends with Klaus. Yeah, that guy. Um, and they want the, the, the Brazil to, to come on board with the WIF. Um, and the, the NWO, ah, here Cleveland's finest, <laughs> <clears throat> but the military is not, the military is siding with Bolsonaro and the people, things could get very, very spicy, oh, uh, yeah, especially when Lula and the, the Supreme Court, uh, guy, whatever, um, uh, the Supreme Court douchebag said, okay, fine, if you're a protester, we're going to You've heard this before. Freeze your bank accounts. Right, right. We expect that. They can get around that. There's another one. Another little uh, sanction they have thrown upon the people that, oh yeah, if you're a protester, they're going to take your kids away from you. Oh, really? Well, the people are not happy about that. Mm -mm -mm. Neither is the military. So if they even try... It's, we're, we're talking, this, this is a Brazilian standoff, and things are going to get spicy. So, viva la Brasil! Anyway, this has been Mad Shad. Every day, never forget.